Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do what we call a BT test. This just means we're gonna do a brittleness test of the roof. A big thing to remember is that when you're looking at a roof, you wanna decide very quickly, is the roof repairable? If the roof is repairable and there's only a handful of damaged shingles, you probably just need to make a repair and that roof is gonna fight many more years. If the roof is not repairable, however, that means that the roof needs to be completely replaced. That means if there's one damaged shingle or 15 damaged shingles on that elevation, that entire elevation needs to be replaced. Now this is a point where you really need someone who deeply understands roofing components and they understand how to explain all this to your insurance adjuster. If you have an insurance claim and they come out and do a brilliance test, you want to make sure there's someone that is advocating whether or not the roof is repairable from a professional standpoint. Very important to do this when you're selecting a roofing contractor. You want to ask them this question. What will you do if the insurance company says the roof is repairable? Or you ask the contractor, is my roof repairable? The roof is repairable and there's only a handful of damaged shingles. Again, you probably don't need a full replacement, just need a few more shingles to get you through a few more years. So, take a look with me. This shingle right here has been damaged. As you can see, a clear, clear lifted shingle here, clear crease. The wind has just gotten, gotten the best of this shingle. Uh, it's also very, very old. So, how we're going to do this brittleness test, we're going to put a line right here, and a line right here. I'm going to kind of trace everything out here. Okay. Now. What I'm going to do up top is I'm going to write B T. It's going to determine, you know, whether or not the shingle is repairable. So I'm going to take this shingle. Now, this shingle is already lifted. If it wasn't already lifted, I would need to have a trowel or a putty knife or something sharp and firm to get underneath the shingle because you don't ever want to lift a shingle from the corner. You want to make sure the shingle is either A, already lifted, or you want to lift it with a, with a tool or device. But since this one's already lifted, we'll be good to go. So what we do is we take the shingle, and the way insurance companies determine whether or not roof is repairable, I don't necessarily agree with it, but the way they determine whether or not the roof is repairable is they'll take their fist and they'll put it right here to determine whether or not it's repairable. In theory, if you lift the shingle to this point and set it down, that'll determine whether or not it's repairable. Now, here's the problem. When I did that, it created a hole in the shingle. There's a, literally a hole in the shingle. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but there's an absolute hole in the shingle. That means this roof is not repairable. So if I was to replace this shingle, I'm gonna have to lift the shingles that are directly above it. I'm gonna have to lift the shingles that are directly above it to a 45 degree angle, like I did this one, they're all going to break. Thus, this whole elevation is not repairable. If there's one damaged shingle, or 15, the whole thing needs to be replaced. This is very critical. This is when it really gets into details that you have to know, you have to have a professional roofer, someone who actually understands how a roof comes together, not just some sales guy that knocks on your door and asks you if you can get, he can give you a free roof inspection. Make sure you're using somebody that's able to accurately and intelligently articulate whether or not a roof is repairable and if you even need a new roof. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, leave us a comment and uh, thank you so much for watching the video.